Hello and welcome back to Zelda Wind Waker. Now you can't see what the fuck's going on because it started raining a lot in Zelda World. Except I could, we could see fucking that guy now. No thanks. Stay the hell away from me. You're a fucking freak. Now nah, we've come to check out this island because I wanted to see if we could place a pearl yet. Even though we kind of have to pass this one anyways. Dude, there's, like, I can't believe how many fucking sea hats. Th those things are called sea hats, by the way. I can't believe how many sea hats they put around this island, because, like... God, I've... D Whoa, can you go away? Holy shit, they're so scary. Um, Alright, we weren't able to place that pearl, but that's no problem. Because we don't have it yet. We literally, of course, it figures, like, the fucking, like, two out of three pearls we checked we didn't have at the time we have two out of three of them now but yeah whatever man fine um we're gonna change our wind this is something you don't have to do once you get the swift sail change your wind uh a little stinky so you might be wondering hey nick you wear that i when i look down like that i'm checking the c chart by the way i have the gamepad right here and it's got the C chart on it. It's pretty sick. I love I love this thing. Honestly, I like the gamepad a lot, especially for this game. Um, but you might be asking yourself, hey Nick, listen, a lot of your thumbnails have that maroon shirt. There's a shirt. Um, what's like the significance? What's the deal? What's going on with that? And uh, to that I say, oh what, you've never heard of maroon shirt Thursday? Well, of course you haven't, because it was just like an inside joke with my high school, but I'm still wearing it four years after I graduated. Let me tell you the ancient lore of Maroon Shirt Thursday. So, long ago, I'll look right at you for this one. Long ago, when I was in 11th grade, 2014-2015, two friends, not me, but two friends wore maroon shirts two Thursdays in a row. On that second Thursday, they said, Hey, <laughs> maroon shirt Thursday, am I right? And they printed a bunch of fucking shirts. And you know what? Everyone bought them. I have a picture of about 20 of us all wearing maroon shirts on a Thursday. All this shirt. And you know what's really cool? I have a bunch more of these i have a bunch of sizes small medium large extra large my uh the the dealer of maroon shirts i just kept like buying a few of them from him at a time for like friends birthdays and stuff and like i needed an extra one because my old one was like literally tattered it's hanging on my wall over there <laughs> um but yeah i was like i need a new one blah 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 and he was like hey listen i don't want to keep carrying these around everywhere do you want to buy them? All of them. I'll give you a decent price. And I was like, fuck yeah. Um, I will. So I have 30 maroon shirts just in like my closet. I don't have a closet. In my storage room. Which is also the laundry room. Yo, alright. So back to Wind Wakey. Um, wait, real quick. If you want a maroon shirt, uh, let me know. I'll sell you one. <laughs> um, maybe not right now because mailing shit's pretty weird right now. Uh, but I'll sell you one eventually. I have a ton. <laughs> How do I get into this guy's voice again? So you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit, Jabon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jabon can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this, too, is the work of the shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not. Jabon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He's in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born, on Outset. <laughs> Yet even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jabon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Fence. Puts a smile on my face every time. Bonnie, good on ya for making me name my character Fence. I thought if anyone would know of, the pirate of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. 
I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It's lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jabon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie island this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Valu must have been right when he asked you to bring asked me to bring word of Jabon to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to, but that is your decision. I have told you of Jabon, so my task is complete. Bye. Goodbye, Birdman. And then Boat's got to tell me. So, Jabon has survived, his voices. So, Jabon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jabon hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there? Why are you yawning, dude? Honestly, you're going to cause my yawn to happen. <sighs> it, it's not because it's 421 in the morning. No, sir. We had a little break in between episodes earlier because... um because my computer was giving me some issues. So I had to move some files around and restart it. And like, that was a good like 25 minutes probably. So yeah, it's getting pretty late. This is, this is gonna be the last one I do tonight. Uh, that'll give me five episodes stockpiled to release. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun. I love this game. Man. And we're cruising. We're cruising slow. Because the uh, the water boat, that whole thing is a fucking problem. It's slow. But uh, it'll get faster later, so that's good. But you know what? This is a great time to talk about the uh, lunch meat alignment chart. Now, I'm planning on making a full video about it eventually. But there are a lot of m lunch meats, and I don't think they all have good intentions. So, my idea is to make, to, like spell out an alignment chart you know like a D&D &D alignment chart Dungeons and Dragons for all you uh, un acronym savvy folk <laughs> if you don't know the acronym D&D &D, I don't know man um, but yeah fucking I think that there's a lot of different lunch meets with a lot of different things to say and I want to eventually make a video describing the uh, lunch meet alignment chart as told by me and yes, I'm going to have to try a few new lunch meats. I had pastrami the other day. It was pretty interesting. So I'm working my way there. But um, I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit right now. So you might be thinking, oh, true neutral? That's probably like turkey. I think turkey is hiding a deep fucking secret. And you're it's going to surprise you where it ends up on my um, on my list. I would, I would say that True Neutral... True Neutral is like the free bingo space, so I'll just give it to you right now, free. Um, I think that Tur uh, that the free space there, the True Neutral is probably like chicken. Chicken is just like all-powerful. It works as a lunch meat. It works as a cutlet. It works as a parm. It works as pretty much anything you need it to. It's meat. It works. Done. So I, I would say that like a nice like cold-cut chicken is a... Uh, definitely definitely the true neutral there but there's a there's a lot going on i have a, i have a big problem with cold cuts that aren't named after an animal i know there's different ways to do beef and like pork and stuff but like it's also gonna be hard to pick just nine because there are a lot but uh i'm not writing these i haven't written them all down yet these are just off the cuff but ones to expect pepperoni you know, ham, classic ham. There's a lot of different types of ham, but we'll just go general, like Dietz and Watson, like ham, you know, just plain ham, not honey ham. Honey ham's definitely different from regular ham, but we'll, we'll generalize ham. Um, you know, pe pepperoni is definitely an important one. Pastrami, turkey. Turkey's, turkey's like why I'm making this list, because turkey is not what it's cracked up to be. Um,. And you know what? Bonnie worked in a deli. My girlfriend Bonnie, she worked in a deli. So uh, I'll talk to her about the nine most important ones. Her view might be a little bit skewed.
but uh, I'll, I'll see what she thinks. And we'll get a good list going. And if you have any recommendations of, like, cold cuts that have to be on that list, let me know in the comments. Because there will only be nine picked, and I've already listed three of them. Roast beef's probably pretty important, too. Oh, we got good pirate dialogue here. So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yeah, I bet you are. You know... Oh, this is the old man. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that was, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that fence, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like, oh, this is fucking Gonzo. This is what I'm talking about. And presto, he spills the beans. I really couldn't tell. Good work, Gonzo, really. Just top notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've so shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yup, the greatest. You, you idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so fucking stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Dude, my problem is, like, Tetra's a kid, bro. How old is Gonzo? That man's fucking old. <laughs> Where? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we've been on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I hope you didn't see the spit that just came out of my mouth and landed on my GameCube. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So what do you say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure ain't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? Cricket. Cricket, cricket. <laughs> You're all fools, you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to f hurry on to outset or the same thing could happen there. Uh, not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you worry more about the island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want to, you know, get that treasure. Huh? Oh, shit. And she's like, mm, I see what's up. All right. All right, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? Aye, aye. Look at Gonzo's fucking face. He looks stoned as shit. Say there, brother. What's today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is plankton, yeah? Remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is plankton, yeah? Plankton, eh? They say it three times so we remember it. And yes, before you ask, gamers, you do have to come in here and see that cutscene to get onto the ship. To know the password, even if you can solve Nico's riddle, you still need to go in there. Bummer. Oh shit, we're on the fucking fence. Dude, the mailbox is fucking rocking out over there. Let's go. We don't have any business getting mail. So we're not going over there. We're gonna try to go the whole run without using the mailbox. Oop. Who can't walk the plank? This isn't even that good of a joke. Plankton. It's not, a, yeah, it's not even a pun. It's just like the word plank is in there. Ha 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 ha. Right, right. You may enter. He's not that formal. All right, we're out here. We're rocking out. See, that's the fast way to get onto the ship. We didn't do that earlier. Oh, fence! My old swabby fence! So you're alive! All the other pirates say you got done in by that bird monster at Forsaken Fortress, so I thought... N never mind what they say! You're alive! Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. 
All right, why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This one's harder. Good luck. You'll need it. Yes, there's some lanterns hanging. The platforms are gone. There's crates, and those crates are full of bams because that's what they stole from the guy. And he put a gate on the door when the timer runs out. The gate will close. Dude, seriously, super funny hypothetical. You come in here. You say, hi, Nico. The, the gate closes, and you leave. <laughs> All right, see you later, dum-dum. <laughs> I wish we had enough uh, free reign over the game's things like that, things that happen, because that would be pretty funny. I think we could just skip that torch completely, yep. Honestly, kind of kicking this fucking minigame's butt here. Oh! Kicking butt, let's go. That was sick. You gotta, holy shit, you did it already? Oh, I love his little tooth, he's so cute. And he has whiskers? Yo, this guy's an actual cat. All right. Yeah, I'll take the bombs. Thanks. See ya at outset, idiot. Ba -ba -da -ba, we got 30 bombs, let's go. That's mighty courageous of you stealing from pirates. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of sick. Pfft, dude, Tetra's fucking roasting him. He's like, no, none of the uh, fucking idiots on my team would have let go of our bombs just as easily. She's like, all right, if you can get that, see you later, Nico. I'll literally never see you again. It's been nice, Swabby. Um, she's like, listen, man, if you can get the fucking Jabun before uh, before daybreak. You can have the treasure, whatever. But the joke is, day will not break until I get the treasure. There's a curse on the Great Sea right now. That's right, Ganon cursed the Great Sea. It's not a spoiler. The Rito Postman said it before. Quill is his name. The boat parked himself over here. Is this where we arrive from, boat? I don't think so. Oh, uh, see, and he doesn't let us jump in because we have to talk to him. Well done, our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning. You must meet with Jabon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, fence. And we're here. We made it to Outset Island, guys. That was so fast, right? Yo, that was literally just like six minutes straight of nothing but boat. We did get hit by a, a shark once, so I guess that was a little interesting. But besides that, that was pretty much just sailing straight. Uh, we had to go a little bit not straight, all right? Fine. I get it. So there's a couple of things on our agenda while we are here um, before we go and see Jabun. First things first, we got to go see Grandma. She's fucking depressed right now. Poor granny. We gotta say, excuse me, hello potato. Uh, uh, fence, arrow, don't go, don't leave, uh, don't leave your poor old grandma all alone. She's really just guilting us into staying. And then you give her a fairy and she becomes not a potato. Whoa, it's crazy. Oh, honestly, the music that's playing right now some of the saddest music in like video game ever. It's so sad. Oh, Fence, is that you? Grandma's always happy to see a bright shining face. Fence, my dear sweet Fence. It's still funny. <laughs> You're safe. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister Arrow are trying so hard to be strong, and I'm just sitting here, moaning like a bitch. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Fence. I haven't been cons I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Nah, you were right, man. It's cool. Here's some soup. Here's the strongest potion in Zelda history. Here you go. Whatever. 
You and your sister love the soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you anytime. Yeah. Seriously, the soup is busted. It's the best potion in Zelda ever. There's two... First of all, there's two servings in there. So if we drink it once, we can still drink it again. And it does the same thing. And... It fully heals us. It gives us full magic. And it fucking... We need, we're gonna need some goddamn uh, magic, actually, to do the next part. Well, maybe there's just no magic on the entire island. Um, and it doubles our power, it doubles your sword power until the next time you get hit. Which is ridiculous. I just texted Android picture, uh, he doesn't have Twitter, so I text him a lot of good Twitter memes that I find. The, uh, the page, Can You Pet the Dog? Highly recommend, by the way. They go through, like, video games and stuff and see if you could pet the dog in the video game. It was, uh, Kingdom Hearts. You can't pet Cerberus, so you cannot pet the dog in Kingdom Hearts 2. Sad. Um. I think we could get through this next part without any magic. It's gonna be a little tough. But I think we're, our magic will get healed anyways. Because of... Fuck off! Do these guys really take two hits before Master Sword? That's ridiculous. I hate that. We do have to change the wind. But uh, the reason I bring that up is because he just texted me back. It's 4.43, my guy. Go the fuck to sleep. Just kidding. He doesn't have anything better to do. I mean, you'd think he's just so bored. Oh, wow. There is a fucking whirlpool behind the island. I hope that doesn't swallow up the entire island. That'd be a bummer. We're gonna need that. There's an enemy, but who wants to fight enemies? And we could just jump up on logs. Never mind. That didn't work. Don't hit us. Okay, you fucking asshole. This is war. Oh, well, he went too fast. You know what? T wow, he can just attack through the log. Dog shit, piece of fuck bag. Titty head. Oh, you know, you know he's fucking mad when he brings out titty head. <laughs> Ooh, we can't lift up big rock yet. Or, you know, we, we can't. We can never do that. How would you be able to lift up a rock so big? Who knows? Oh, yeah. By the way, our forest water, we're going to dump it out now because it just ran out. <laughs> Literally, when we were talking to Grandma, there was a minute and a half on it. That's ridiculous. We, we've been cruising. Yo! <laughs> Damn! Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. That's kind of what she does. She gives us a little flower power. Thanks, Mama. This is actually... Technically, you don't need this, but we're going to get this, and we're going to get the other upgraded one, too. We can now hold a 1,000 rupees, because there's a lot of rupees to be had in this game, man. So, she fully heals us. She fully... She fills up our magic. Yo, in the old fairy fountains, in the GameCube version, I'm pretty sure if you missed a fairy, you would scoop up water, and then you'd have to dump the fucking water out. It was all types of annoying. If I remember it correctly, which I think I do. I played the GameCube version a lot. It's been a long time since I've played it, but from what I recall. Alright, we don't need magic for a little bit, so we're just gonna sail straight over these guys. Don't even bother fighting them. Who needs them? Alright. So we're gonna try... Oh, I don't know how we turned around there. But we're gonna try a fucking sick stunt. And I have to edit this video, so maybe I'll add in some sick music. to talk to us you fucking oh we ran out of magic that's what happened stupid oh you wanted to see what these rings of light were about all right you know what? we'll we'll pull up one that's fine see what it is we got time yo 
ancient chest. Okay. The, the chests actually have, like, really interesting, like, inscribings on them. I don't know what they are supposed to be. They kind of look like dragons. Uh, we actually don't want to enter the vortex from the left. We can kind of cheese it if we enter it from the right. So, we'll make sure that we go around it first. Because we're looking for cheese. The vortex is kind of big. It might pull us in. We're into cheese. I'm into fucking cheese. I wish I wasn't. Because I'm lactose intolerant as hell. Honestly, most cheeses like do not have that much lactose. But um, some of them do. You know, I wouldn't trust information from Bonnie, typically, without a Google search first. But she did work in a deli. She told me that uh, American cheese has more dairy than a lot of cheeses. It's literally like just dairy. But then she also told me that Swiss cheese has no dairy in it. Which I actually found to be true. Which is pretty cool. Good on you, Bon. <laughs> that lady doesn't lie to me on purpose. <laughs> Only on accident. I convinced her once that Egypt wasn't, like, a country anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, I'm all for, like, fuck school. Like, standardized, like, learning stuff is lame. Like, you should go to school for the things you care about. Like, elementary school, totally fine that they teach you, like, a bunch of shit. But, like, later, nah, I'm out. But fucking anyway, I was sitting with my family and my sister is like going to be a nurse. So this should concern you for some reason. But she was not able to name all seven continents. It took a lot of like pulling her like to get it like at it starts with an A. You know, most of them do. But yeah. All right. Wind Waker. Well met, Hyrule King. <laughs> well met indeed, Jabun. I'm pleased to see that you are safe. The events that we have long feared seem to have been set in motion. Yes, it seems that Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. If you have sought me out, it must mean that you have found the Hero of Time, does it not? Unfortunately, that is not so. Then what purpose have you come to see me? The one I have brought with me has no connection to the Legendary One, and yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. Promise? You suggest that I leave the fate of Hyrule up to mere chance? I do. It is the only way. I see. Then I suppose it is up to the gods to deem whether his courage is true. I give to you the guidepost to the gods. Yo. Is that a fucking orb? Let's go. We love orbs. You got Nehru's Pearl. Thanks, Water Spirit Jabon. Yo, I love that they fucking talk shit on you. Because in the original game, you don't know what Jabon's saying, so you can't really tell what the King of Red Lions is talking about. This jewel should dispel the curse that Ganon has cast upon this land. So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on to us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. Tell me, Hyrule King, have you learned the whereabouts of the one who carries on the bloodline of the Princess Zelda? I believe I have. Bro! That is well. You must protect Zelda. She cannot be permitted to fall into the hands of Ganon. I'm counting on you. I forgot that he said that. That's crazy. Because in the original game, you don't know what he's talking about. Because it's like... I mean, like, I know who Zelda is, but even with him saying that, you still don't know who Zelda is yet. But it's so fucking cool that he brings that shit up. Let's go. Oh, actually, we want to go... We want to go southeast. No, just straight up east right now. We're going to go get something important. Um, and then we'll start on the next part of the quest. But we'll stick around. There, There's not enough sailing to edit the video, so we'll talk about something right now. Um, hmm. Great question. What's there to talk about right now? Yo. Alright, this is a question for the audience. Is Uvu making a comeback? Because, like... Now would be a great time to be Uvu, you know? Like, 
I'm just saying, if Uvu, if like the creators of Uvu didn't make a comeback right now, that kind of sucks because like this is the perfect time for Uvu. I mean, you know, we found Zoom and there's like Skype and stuff, so there there's plenty of services that do the same thing. But like, wouldn't you have hated to have sold off Uvu in uh in years prior? Because man are video services like that useful right now i'm on zoom discord cisco all the time for class or for just hanging out with my buddies yeah discord discord was not ready to handle all of this shit discord was like oh my god you want to put how many people on our servers all the time shit Discord's fucking awesome though it's so cool the um i'm part of a like role play group chat there where we all made up like high fantasy ocs and we're all just like playing through a story that the moderators have it's like dnd without the like game part it's just like dialogue based and it's pretty fucking sick and discord they did a really cool thing uh the the moderators they like split up like different sections of the main town like into different chats and stuff it's super fucking cool. Discord's really useful. Yeah, we're gonna fight a fucking giant ass Octo, by the way. You gotta hit all of his eyeballs, make them blue. He's got one more on his fucking butt. So it doesn't matter how fast you hit those three, it just matters how quick you hit this one, which we miss. And we miss. There we go. Sweet. All right, thanks everybody so much for watching. Just kidding, we gotta find out what's inside this big octo. Inside, inside, that's a little gross. Yeah, inside, check this shit out. Are you ready? Ba 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 bam Oh my God, <laughs> how did you get in there? <laughs> oh, waker of the winds, thanks to you I've been freed from that beast's foul grasp. He was fucking gross. As thanks, I shall give you just a little of my power. Yeah, dude. Nasty. Being inside of a big old octo. But yippee skippy, we got the double magic meter. Oh, the double magic meter looks hilarious with only three hearts. Sure, we could only have like six up until this point, but still. Pretty funny, dude. Pretty funny, dude. Alright, everybody. Thank you so much fucking much for watching on the next one we're gonna go into the next dungeon there's a couple of things to be done before we do that like there's a fairy island right ahead of us that we'll probably hit up um and we got to place the orbs and see a really cool cutscene but yeah i'm going to bed it's almost 5 a.m so next recording session i might be wearing a different shirt well i will be because I won't be able to record on Thursday because I don't record five episodes. Anyway, have a good night, everybody, or good day, good morning, whenever you're watching me. Thank you so freaking much for watching. I appreciate you endlessly. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Wash those hands. Put lotion on those hands because I know they're getting a little dry. Don't be afraid to use lotion. It's good for you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.